I developed the Women on the Home Front project during the summer of 2007. Basically, the lesson involved students viewing a PowerPoint presentation. This is something that I didn't use as a whole class presentation. It was just put up on our school district's network and, and students could go in and uh, kind of look through the PowerPoint uh, at their own pace. The presentation began with just an overview, making students aware that there were six and a half million women that served on the home front during World War II. And then they had the opportunity to listen to three letters that had been written by women whose husbands were off fighting in the war. Traditionally in the classroom, you know, we might read a passage in a textbook and I might present some material to the students, uh, but this lesson was unique insofar as they had the opportunity to read the letters from people that lived during the war, listen to the oral histories from people who lived through rationing. That hits home more than any textbook can. I think in terms of historical thinking skills, this lesson really helped with giving students practice at analyzing primary source materials. And one of the things we really stress in, in social studies, skills and methods, is determining the reliability and credibility of sources. So students had to listen to those letters, uh, try to figure out under what circumstances they were being written, and uh, you know, why the author might be saying what they're saying. The other unique thing about the project is that they got to learn about World War II from Clevelanders when we were going through those oral histories that were collected by the uh, Western Reserve Historical Society. Uh, students had the chance to hear, you know, from people who were living in Northeast Ohio. We lived the next several years with rationing of meat and sugar and food. We had probably two meatless meals a day. Everybody had a vegetable garden in the backyard to grow their own food, even my dad who hated gardening. Now that strikes a chord with students uh, because there's a local connection. And again, they get to hear how ordinary everyday Americans were asked to sacrifice uh, to help the war effort.